Right, hello, um, this is Ollie Epsom and we're out here on radioactivity with my friend Cameron. And um, we've uh, been cruising for a couple of days and uh, we have not made it to Ireland, so we've decided to, um, yeah, <laughs> we've decided to, instead of going to Ireland, go to somewhere about 10 miles from where we live. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because we're a bit bored, we've uh, rigged up some um, self-steering gear for a downwind leg and uh, the last video you saw I made it for the upwind leg, so we'll show you what we've done now and uh, talk you through it. We're on. Accent on. Right, okay, so um, again the principle of sailing downwind with a self-steering system is more or less the same as sailing upwind. What you want to do is instill some negative feedback into the boat. So what we have here, if we look here, we've got the um, mainsail and then behind the mainsail we've got the jib. Now when you're on a um, broad reach or a run, the jib is sheltered behind the mainsail. So the idea is that as the boat comes up into the wind naturally, the jib gets exposed to more wind. The jib then pulls harder on the jib sheet, which is here, this jib sheet is then rigged through this ascender, which allows us um, some adjustment, that's Cam's idea, um, through this snatch block back to the tiller. And on the other end of the tiller, we've got these bungee cords. So what happens is, as the boat moves downwind, the jib gets blanketed by the main, this line goes slack, um, the bungee cords pull the tiller back into the middle, and the boat tends to come um, more upwind again. As we go more upwind, the jib tensions up and pulls the rudder back the way against the bungee cords and brings us back on course. Um, that's basically all there is to it. Um, when we rigged this earlier we thought we were in for hours of faffing to get it to work but uh, nobody was more surprised than both of us when um, it actually took a couple of minutes to set up and it's fine. I think some of the refinements we've made is the ascender which is really useful because it allows you to trim the jib properly and I've got the bungees hooked onto a couple of bow lines here, so to adjust the tension you just add and remove the bungees. Um, the important thing with the bungees is not to over tension them, so you should be in a situation where when the rudder is midships, the bungees are just slack like that. If you were to tension them up, the rudder would pull more um, upwind and you might lose your stability. So if you need to increase the tension on the bungees, don't pull the line tighter, add more bungees. Um, other thing was if we want to come more upwind it's a bit counterintuitive to go more upwind you actually release the jib sheet a little bit and to come less upwind or more downwind you pull the jib sheet in so that took us a little bit of uh, getting used to to understand it but uh, yeah it uh, seems to be working really well we've done what 10 miles probably yeah yeah uh, about 10 miles and uh, you know it gives us plenty of other things to use our hands for there's lots to do out here today. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, get in touch and we will see if we can help you. Take care. We are self steering mm -hmm. towards a metal channel marker. <laughs> so, essentially, what you're saying is this is going to be a test of faith. Yes. Right, okay, good. Uh, let's. let's uh, you know, it doesn't look like that much of a test of faith anymore. No, it's paper, yeah. yeah, okay. Good, good. More bungees. More bungees. Yeah.